Yo, what's up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Jazz84 here, bringing you guys more Mana 15 Ultimate Team. Today, we're gonna be continuing the season of uh, All Star. I mean, not All Star, All Pro Second String, sorry. And uh, today's game is number two. And what happened in this game, pretty much of a, uh, you know, pretty much of a tough one, that's all I'm gonna say. And uh, there's so many moments where I could have capitalized, and, uh, you know, it's just of a week of a staff and I really need to sign in new guys I'm not sure if I have to stop a little bit so I can get more coins and uh, off camera so you know I can I need to sign some new corners man I seriously do because this game pretty much shows how uh, cornerbacks is very important so uh, anyways yeah starting off with the game I ended up on offense first uh, Doug Martin trying to run towards the left side and it was nice gain right there by 10 yards three rushes for 25 yards so far in the beginning nice play action Demarius Thomas like always is opening that play action I love the Colts play but that's what I've been using lately on the slant route Cordell Patterson wide open and by the way his defense is man coverage so that's why you see him like uh, mostly man cover most of my re most of my receivers most of the time on this on this uh, drive and he stops me on third and inches. I was like, what the heck? I have Marshall Lynch and I can't convert on third and inches. Are you serious? And right there, I saw a circle open, but I like I pressed square before I even thought about it. But, you know, it was kind of a, a bad decision right there. I could have scored a few seconds earlier, but I ended up scoring after this, uh, after this curl route. So, eh, still came out the same thing. Back on defense, nice run stop right there by my defensive end, and uh, he tries to scramble towards the right side, nope, and gets on to the first down, third and three. What is he going to do? Nope, rejected Eric Reed, his first standoff for the first time ever. He gets his first interception, and I had this guy for the past three seasons, and that's his first time he actually reacts towards an interception. I was really surprised. I was like, damn, this guy's stepping up kind of late there there's there, should, there could have been a lot of situations where this guy could have changed the outcomes of several games but no that guy just can't zone coverage i really need to get charles woodson back there anyways ended up doing a fago 10 to 0 and 37 seconds to go and he lobs it to sean jackson he burns eric reed he burns the turn Cromartie. unbelievable i was like what the hell's going on right there defense come on and i ended up containing the guy sack by cameron wake Recovered by Jadavion Clowney. He's still a beast though. I wish there was a higher version of him, but he didn't play all season So um, yeah, that's why we didn't get any better versions of Jadavion Clowney Hopefully he does play the next season though the whole season So I really want him for my team and he's a beast. So yeah Anyways in the last seconds of the second quarter. I kind of messed up I should have just ran the ball. So uh, the score is now 10 to 7 three minutes to go Tries to run down the left side and he does a positive thing right there. Unbelievable. How the hell did that happen? I don't know. I should have kept my defensive lineman spread, but uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable what happened there right there. Cardell Patterson converts on a 3 and 10. And I try to run another passing play. Doug Martin on screen. Nice gain right there. Third and inches yet again. I'm not going to run it this time because I know what happened last time. Pass it to Cardell Patterson. Nice catch. So far, so good. I'm telling you, he, this guy is just running man offense and man defense, and and leaves it, like some receivers opening sometimes. And right here, Mercedes Lewis screws up my drive. I was like, what the hell, Mercedes Lewis? Unbelievable. That's the that's the first time somebody has really disrupted my offense that badly. And that was Mercedes Lewis. I was like, I got the freaking momentum and everything to score. And nope, Mercedes Lewis come over here and freaking fumbles the goddamn ball, man. Right now, it should have been 17 to 14, but no. Derek Cromartie could have a pick right there, but eh, he dropped it. Hopefully next time he doesn't drop it, though. Running back wide open right there. I'm telling you, man, coverage does mess this guy up because he's linebacker right there. He doesn't even know who the hell he's taking it off from. And a nice 0-1 right there, Doug Martin. Most of you guys are telling me to run 0-1s at some, some point of the seasons. And yes, I do have the 0-1 on my uh, shotgun formation and my single back formation. You'll see that a few times. Actually, I've been calling like for the longest time. It's just that I only got five yards. That's why I don't put it here in my uh, most of my highlights of uh, each one of these, each one of my games, because it's just short yardage. It doesn't really really matter. I only only call them like in the first down sometimes. Anyways, I had to throw an interception. Kind of messed up. One minute and 30 seconds to go. If I stop him here, I can still have a chance. And nope. 39, he converts. And I have all three of my timeouts. I call the timeout on the first down. And he ends up converting the first down. So that's pretty much game over, guys. He ends up leading the whole damn thing. And 
I ended up losing because I felt so confident, man. I'm telling you, the previous game, I told you, never feel too confident. Just keep on calling the same plays over and over again. And look what happened to me in the second quarter. I felt too confident, and I called in plays that I didn't even use. And I got picked off. He took it out of the way. And, you know, he got close to my score. And the final score was 10 to 14. The final score should have been 10 to 7. But I fucking messed up, man. Seriously did. And it was all on me on this one. I really accept this, uh, you know, this loss. Because it was my fault. Shouldn't have called in that in the second quarter. Just learn from this, guys. And you'll see uh, how better you get. Just don't get too confident. Just, just keep on calling your strategic plays and everything. You'll do better. So that's it, guys. Subscribe for more if you guys want to see more MUT15.